Hi, my name is Jonas and this time I'm going to bring a little tutorial about how to work with motion capture using uh, Kinect. And what you're looking at right now is uh, me uh, posing in my living room. And on the screen we have some yellow stuff going on. That's the stuff that the, the Kinect tool couldn't uh, detect the depth information for. And uh, um, otherwise it's uh yeah it's just me doing some um, throw animations um, and the software i'm using is uh, ep or ipi recorder i'm not really sure how to pronounce it and it has actually two small programs and this one is ipi recorder uh, where i recorded the these um, sequences and it's really easy to use actually I just tried it for a few days and um, it has this really really nice um, interface usually here I'm not ha I don't have my Kinect uh, plugged in right now here you will see the the Kinect so once that is selected you can just click record um, so um, in this uh, window here uh, you can also click um, mocap studio or you can actually just select the one up uh, maybe right click and say say open video in mocap studio and it will whoops it will open up on my other screen sorry uh, here and uh, here we can see the depth information um, presented by the these dots um, so if we pan around a little bit we can see this character it, it has already uh, detected uh, actually my character but um, let's say for the purpose of this demonstration that we want to take this sequence every time you take in stand in a T pose it actually detects a, a, a different take so every time I put myself in the T pose it will uh, create a new take, which is kind of neat. So let's take this one to try this out with. Uh, so here you can see the this is a depth information and it's not aligned up with the, the character. So I can click my character, actually I can click move. And then I just move the character in place, sort of. So it lines up just about. And you don't really have to be very precise with this just once it's kind of in the, in the right place click uh, refit and it will uh, position itself so if you're satisfied with this you can click track forward so now it's gonna um, track forward and with the skeleton uh, with the red lines uh, is showing what it's uh, detecting in this sequence and this is going to take a little while. Um, notice the head and the hand right now. The head is kind of out of the place and the hand is kind of completely awkward. And I think this is mostly because I don't have um, I don't have a second connect, so I can't really uh, um, record uh, what is happening behind me. Um, but there's a fix for this. Um, so if you track backwards a little bit uh, or maybe find the last place in the sequence where it looked correct something like this you can click click refit pose and then track again and sometimes it's uh, now the hand kind of screws up again but uh, sometimes it, it's fixing it, fixing itself uh, but let's let this one run out and see what we get in the end. All right, it didn't really fix anything. So what we can do instead is to take the last bit here and we can click IK for inverse kinematics. And uh, there's this menu up here, pose, if you can't really find the hand. And you can move the hand out like this and down. And now we can click refit and kind of break this, I think. All right, so now it's in place again. 
and then we can click track backwards so now it's tracking backwards and the arm is still in the correct place and there it screws up so we just have to forward a little bit until it's kind of in the right place something like here maybe I think and then refit again and then track backwards and let's see yeah okay just continue tracking all right so i think this is okay uh once we have everything kind of in the looking correct we can play it back and it's kind of okay um one thing you can also enable is the head tracking um if i do this again let me see if i screw up my animation this it will try to correct the the face how i face when i uh, turn my head because when you throw something uh, obviously your head is turning just not not like pointing forward uh constantly um something you can adjust later on i think here for example it's i'm kind of the, the, the figure is kind of looking to the side and it's really weird so it's not really good i think um so okay this kind of screwed up my arm again so let's take from the back again and bring out the arm again refit and track backwards just like we did before just with the head tracking enabled so far it looks okay and it screwed up so let's turn go a little bit forward like this refit and track backwards see how that looks I think it's okay let's see very slowly move forward i'm pressing um comma and um, period on the keyboard to move back and forth one one frame at a time uh, so let's see if we play this looks okay okay uh once we have this in place we can because there's all all this jittering happening Gonna, uh, especially on the feet we need to afterwards uh, correct some stuff uh, but some of the initial jittering you can uh, get uh, get rid of by clicking this jitter removal and uh, it will kind of smooth out things um, you can also play around with the options I'm just gonna let this one uh, run through this little sequence here um, but this this option lets you um, decide how to smooth each individual part um, how much so let's see okay the arm popped back in huh. all right uh, so let's see um if we click options for example the left arm right arm i want to smooth a little bit more maybe the legs also and we can click ok and um, let's run another pass i haven't really figured out you have some buttons up here also refine forward i think it kind of does the same as jitter removal but i'm not really sure i think actually this does something but these two, uh, these buttons and this one is uh, are buttons you want to push afterwards once you have uh, the rough animation tracked correctly. Um, about the feet, which are really being jittery right now, uh, you definitely want to put this through a motion builder. But since I haven't really worked in motion builder yet, I've just seen some videos with people uh, playing uh, around with it and doing some really amazing stuff um, 
I think uh, you need to go and uh, make some IK uh, fixation of the feet to um, to get completely rid of this. Otherwise, it's gonna look it's gonna be noticeable in, in once you get it inside the Unreal Engine. So I'm just gonna let this refine forward run. Oh yeah, and one thing you all can also tweak here a little bit. I will think I will have time to show that before I end this video. There's uh, the hands. The hands are currently not uh, being animated as far as I could tell. Uh, whoa, something is off with the hand. Anyway, I don't need that part anyway. So let's see if we play this from the beginning now. Well, it's still a bit jittery. Okay, let's turn this off. And, um, whoop. And turn the video down. Uh, it's definitely jittering quite a bit. I will have to run a few more passes off video, I think. Um, but before I do that, want to quickly show how we can tweak on the hands so for example the hands are all stiff right now and um, what we want to do is because I'm grabbing kind of playing that I'm grabbing something a grenade from my belt um, so we can actually adjust the hand and we can click in this pose again and we have these body left and right hand so <laughs> Actually, I'm left-handed, so in this case, I, <laughs> I notice I uh, pick the grenade up from my left side. Um, so let's take the left hand, this one, and you can click this one, and you can uh, rotate. So in this instance, uh, this is the hand, um, and I really want to move, maybe kind of curl the fingers up a little bit, like this do this just roughly something like this I'm not working as an animator so <laughs> I uh, this is really probably not something an animator would do uh, oops in my personal time actually I work as a project manager so this is uh, just a hobby for me um, Anyway, uh, so now we have the hand kind of in place and something like this. So now I'm grabbing something and when I move forward and backwards, you can see the, the hand posture is being kept. So I don't have to refit this for each frame. So um, let's forward a little bit. So here yeah, I would maybe pull, maybe I, if I wanted really, I would do something with the hand, the right hand here. Uh, so I would maybe uh, also bend some of these a little bit, probably also a little bit before. But anyway, just to make a little bit adjustments here. I think that's okay. Uh, and maybe also bend this a little bit. So here we have the row is coming kind of here. So probably I want to stretch out the left hand again. Kind of move the fingers out again. And then I don't know how you really do this. Maybe let's just do something so we can see change. All right, so something like this. Let's uh, see this again in real time. All right, so 
well, it, it needs obviously a lot of adjustments still, but it's uh, it's only uh, 15 minutes, and I have something kind of uh, working already if I wanted to. Other neat thing is that uh, in uh, if you uh, used to work in uh, Fuse, uh, you can actually, for example, bring in the Fuse character, see how that looks. Uh, I have a Mike dude here. This is Mike. Say hello to Mike. He's really. It was supposed to look pretty hardcore, but <laughs> it didn't turn out so well. Um, so you can actually just load him in, and you need to export him as FBX, not FBX for Unity. Oh, not Unity, sorry, uh, Unreal. Curse me for saying that. Sorry. <laughs> um, so uh, you can actually play this, and this is how how Mike is gonna look. Uh, doing the grenade throw. Whee! Whee! It looks like he has uh, stuff painting uh, painted on his nails. Um, oh yeah, and one more thing about the Fuse character here. If you export your character from Fuse and want to use uh, um, this animation, uh, you need to export, as far as I could tell, you need to export uh, from Fuse uh, in FBX first and then export it or um, download first in F normal FBX and then also download a version specifically for Unreal. And then you need to uh, retarget the, uh, the skeleton uh, later on. I will show that in another video, um, but just make sure that you do that. Uh, I couldn't get if I exported the the, um, the character in uh, FBX for Unreal. Um, it did not work. Uh, something it, I think it actually crashed. Uh, I thought uh, mocap studio, so I wouldn't recommend that. Um, but I think that's it. I'm gonna run a few more uh, smooth passes with this one and. Uh, yeah, continue in uh, the next video um, where I will continue working with this animation and uh, see how we can get that into Unreal. So until then, bye bye.